Mensure, welcome to our Japanese garden. Perhaps you're asking yourself, how would I go about creating a Japanese garden? I know I did, so I asked the expert, our designer, Kokisan. He explained that you must first choose the location, which worked out perfectly for him since our location had a natural slope with a large hill in its background, eliminating the need to put large foliage or hedging to cover an unsightly building or other possible eyesore. Having the location, he lent his imagination and artistic talents to create this drawing from his mind's eye. Many things had to be considered as he wanted to create a miniature landscape that was beautiful, abstract but understandable, and a place for contemplation and meditation. Some elements Kokisan planned in his creation were a waterfall, bridge, stepping stones, rocks, mountains, trees, and plants. With his plan in hand, he set out to acquire the materials he would need. Here in Okinawa, a local outdoor garden shop is the place to go. There's a very wide variety of indigenous plants to choose from. And we chose the Gyuku Pine, the Hibiscus or Akabana, the Crepe Myrtle, and the Gyuku Ebony to name just a few. Other items such as these large round stone or mortar discs work wonders to keep visitors on the desired path. And children love to play leapfrog and hop from one to the other. These simulated bamboo fences are not only decorative, but serve to protect delicate or newly planted foliage. These items resemble miniature temples, or pagodas, which are routinely found throughout Japan. Sand and bags of gravel would also be needed. Large rocks, such as this one, will be used to simulate mountains. Maintaining our garden is a labor of love, and staff need to be knowledgeable of when to fertilize and the transplanting schedules for the different species of plants the garden is home to. Come along with me now for a walk through our Japanese garden. You can see right away that we used stronger plants along the perimeter. Not only frames the garden, but acts as a protective barrier for the more delicate plants against the tropical storms that we experience from time to time here in Okinawa. You'll notice several large rocks in our garden. Most of them had to be lowered into their resting places by use of a crane. You'll notice that the bridge and how our gardener made use of the gravel underneath. Our waterfall is a favorite spot for pictures for our guests. It's powered by solar energy, which we capture through solar panels high above the garden. We hope that you've enjoyed this brief segment on our Japanese garden. We invite your comments and welcome any questions that you might have. Thank you for stopping by. Or as our Okinawan staff would say, Nihei Debiru.